What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about all of the changes to the Codex of Power coming in season four of Diablo four. Now I did touch on this uh, in the campfire chat recap which you guys can find on my channel along with a lot of breakdowns of all these different new mechanics that are coming to the game based on what we know before the patch notes so codex of power what's changing what is the biggest changes and how this is going to affect not only your character progression through each season that you play but as well as the eternal realm and your inventory space so let's talk about it so the old system of codex of power we only have 41 total, okay, powers in here, and this includes our, like, seasonal and non-seasonal. We have 137 if you include all the classes in the game. So we have 137 different powers that are um, put into, what is it, six diff five different categories, right? Now, most of these powers are pretty generic. A lot of them are just, like, normal powers that you're not going to find, and most builds are gonna be using different powers that are not exactly on here. However, the codex, you unlock these. If you guys don't already know, we're just gonna do a recap for all experienced and new players. That you get these from completing dungeons. So when you go through this dungeon and you complete the dungeon, you're gonna get the blood bath aspect. Okay, blood surges Nova echoes again after a short delay. However, when you get these codexes, they are at a bare minimum percent or power number or just number overall. So for example, if you have an ossified essence, you get the minimum roll of 30% and then you have to find a much stronger version, okay? So what are the changes here? Like this is good, this is a good baseline. You would typically use this to like kind of put piece together and get your builds together right as you're leveling up through the game. All right, now what's changed and what's made this so much better? Because one of the biggest things is that you have to go through and destroy all these dungeons, right? And you're looking for particular items. That's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem, one, is inventory space and then it being the lowest level of the power itself. Now, what has changed? Let's go look. My trusty little notes here, okay? The biggest changes overall, we have this markup, is that now it's going to be put into your Codex of Power, right? We got our Codex of Power. It's separated into all of the different resources, but... Now we have a chance to upgrade these and get a perfect roll, which we're, we're always going to be able to imprint onto our gear. So as you guys can see here is that we have the edge masters aspect. It's at two out of 16 with a 6% multiplicative damage. The maximum roll is 20%. Okay. So at the start, just like accelerating, it's going to be at the bare minimum here. Okay. The smallest amount. Now each power that you find, and you what is it not extract i don't want to say extract but you salvage at the blacksmith is going to contribute to this number right it's going to contribute to the 16 um upgrades that you would do now uh each time you do that it will increase the percentage but the trick here is is that this edge masters is at six percent if you find a ten percent edge masters and then you salvage it into uh the codex of power right it's gonna increase from 6% to 10%. It does not go up like six to seven or six to eight. It'll go up to whatever you salvage from the black uh, blacksmith. So that's gonna be a really, really good way. And you can keep doing this as, as long as you continue to find stronger pieces all the way up to the max, okay? Now, why is this good? This is great because then you can get a max power that you're gonna always be able to put on any gear. So if you're playing a seasonal character, this will be for account wide, all right, for the season, but then it also extends all the way globally to all of your characters, as well as the eternal realm, especially after the season ends. So if you end up getting maxing all of the codex powers in the game, then you'll have that for all of your eternal characters. Now I do have to note that if you are a seasonal player like myself, when you do start a brand new season, you will have to do this all over again. You don't just to get to start the season with maxed out powers in your codex you still have will have to do it all over again that has not changed but the second biggest reason why this is so important is because it is going to clear up all of your inventory space if you're a player like me who has multiple characters or even if you just have one character and you want to deck them out like crazy my aspect tab is typically always full 
but not only is it always full, my stash tab is typically always full with powers, items that I'm going to upgrade or I've already upgraded and imprinted powers on. And these are just really good items that I swap out for different builds, right? Or I have gear pieces that I want to imprint powers on. And my inventory stash is just completely full and I have no room for anything. With the Codex of Power, having all the powers being put in there as you continue to level them up, your inventory space should not look like mine. And yes, OCD people, don't comment and say how bad my organization is on my inventory space because it's not changing. Okay, it's not changing. So again, when you go over here, you're going to be able to salvage this and it's going to contribute this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the uh, content here so that way you guys can see. All right, and we're gonna, uh, that way you can kind of just see the salvaging in the making here, okay? So we got this, it can upgrade all the way. I want you guys to be able to see how this process actually works. Let me back up, right? So uh, when you're in here, let me back it up just a little bit more. You're in the blacksmith, okay? Shout out to uh, Ruben here, Mr. Bloodshed. We got Edge Masters at 12%. We want to increase this, right? Like 12% is a bad roll but it's better than a 5% roll that you can put on from your codex, right? So you're just gonna go here, you're gonna just salvage it like you normally would. And as you can see, there's these little items here, these swords on here. What this means is, is that when you salvage it, as you can see, it's gonna upgrade an aspect in the codex of power on salvage. So not only are you going to get resources from salvaging your legendary powers like you normally would, it is gonna level up your codex. So big shout out to Rax. For that idea, I know he talked about that a long time ago. So Blizzard better give him uh, some, put some respect on his name for that. Okay. So as you destroy this, you're going to see some salvage materials down here. And you're going to be able to get that increase in your Codex of Power. This is absolutely fantastic. This is going to help clear out most of your inventory, most of your salvage tab tabs. And I do want to mention something else. Like... This is just making the quality of life of the game just so much better for players. The itemization changes coming uh, in Season 4 is just going to be so good that with this on top of it, it cleans it up. As you can see, I, oh, you guys can't see because of my camera, but let me let me just swap this over. As you got, oh my gosh, my countdown timer. So you see that you guys can still get a lot of uh, rewards here, or maybe not a lot, but you guys do get some rewards because that was just a normal legendary. It wasn't even in uh, sacred or ancestral, but then you get the notification where aspect has been upgraded. Edge master aspect has been upgraded in the codex of power. So then if you go over to it, you'll see that it has been upgraded. Boom. You get two uh, out of the 16 for upgrading. Boom. Now don't butcher me in the comments, guys. They did correct this. This is just a display error from the Campfire Dev Stream. They do say that when you do like that 12%, this should show at 12% and not 6 Okay, so keep that in mind. This is just a display error for all those. If you don't believe me, go watch the, the, the Dev Stream. But yeah, guys, these are all the changes that are coming to the Codex of Power. I think this is just going to be absolutely insane. I think it's going to be such a great way and a better quality of life of the game. Everything is just going to be so much better, okay? We're, our inventory space isn't going to be so crazy. Now you'll actually have space for just like normal items, right? Like you'll be able to separate this stuff out. Like I wouldn't have this tab. I wouldn't have this tab. And I probably wouldn't have this tab, you know? But I probably will because I'm going to make multiple characters. But man, that's for another. Yeah, that's something else. But yeah, guys, that, those are the changes. Like the video. Comment down below. Please let me know what you guys think about these codex of changes. I think this is one of the biggest W's from the campfire stream besides the uh, unique legendary trading that's going to happen in the game. I think not only that, that's going to clean up a lot of this as well. Because if you have a bunch of extra powers and stuff that you can just trade off to people, it's just going to be so much better. Like the game quality of life just got so much better. But yeah, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.